that my mic's about to be on right now. Uh, in the closet. Nice. All right, here, let's get us going. That looks to be a decent angle. I can drop us a little bit, so I'm not in the way of the telly. Could probably sit back a little. Got, some, got a pillow over here. Take advantage. Oh, hi, Zero. Hi, handsome boy. You wanna come sit over here? Come on. <coughs> Come on, sit over here. Come on, zero. Sit over here, buddy. You got more room. Come on. Come over here. All right, fine. You just don't get as much room. You can fuck off then. Um, 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 um. Let's see how our other screen is before we get going. I'm cut off. You're cut off, Taco. Taco is cut off. I think my spells are over there. Although it doesn't really matter. Cover them up. Cover them bitches up. <clears throat> Could probably get a little smaller down here. Booyah. I don't know. I'm not going to be talking too loud today, so i got to keep an eye on that game chat. Hey, buddy. You're not getting attention right now, man. Oh, that quick resume, gotta love it. Definitely gonna have to <clears throat> turn the volume up a few pegs. Gotta hear this shit. 
Got to. I gotta lift myself up a little bit, I think, here. Hopefully it's not in the way of the TV. No, it's not that good. It should be good. It's kind of in the way. It's kind of in the way. It's not too bad. See, we're back up. Cutie. You can't have no fruit punch. I know it's cement. It smells good, huh? You can't have none. I don't think you can have none, buddy. All right, what the fuck was I doing? This game had a lot of fucking shit going on to it. Weasley after class. Meet Professor Weasley. Student, aren't you? Yes. Don't get too cookie simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down. Fiddlesticks. Oh, wait, you know what? I wonder if I can. Revelio. Belly of that bitch. I better turn this down a few so it's not too loud. I don't want it to be too, too loud. This painting depicts the young orphan wizard, Ilias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of dementors and the dark wizard, Raxidian, by conjuring a mouse Patronus. What's that? It's like if Peter Pettigrew wasn't a fucking asshole. Maybe we're gonna go back downstairs. <laughs> uh -huh. Flu flame pound. I flown the flu flame. Rebellion. the class. What about <coughs> the room, <coughs> Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Hasn't Professor Fig said anything? No, Professor. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. 
In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first Giving me homework. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Oh, yeah. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to go. What more can you tell me about potion shop? What's spellcraft? There really is an Ollivander's here. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. Oh, yeah. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. How about Natty, Sebastian? I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. Hmm. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Speak to Professor Ronan and receive your first assignment. Assignment stories quest give you high more professors that when completed reward you with new spells. A reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm Repair Row, which was required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and the progress in the quest menu and field guide. Gee, thanks. Thanks for the homework. Revelio! So there's gotta be something in here. What's up, homie? You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Ropero in no time. 
Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. and personal taco. Getting set up, getting a drink, go get these quests done. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying, like flying page is. pages. How the fuck do I do that? Oh, hey, got it. Fuck, there we go. Must be around here somewhere. Might some kind soul help me? Here, give me one second to grab this page, Shiki. Brilliant. Oh, help me with my sad predicament. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones. Interesting. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds as if they overreacted. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Can't make any promises and any ideas how to reach them. You don't have any friends. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. 
I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. So that's why nobody likes her. She's spraying him with some fucking gunky liquid. Um. Uh... Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I don't know, maybe a gobstone. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Nice. Now I can fix shit. Mending charm repair can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Lumos. Repair it. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Neat. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, is that gobstone? Repair on. Accio. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. It's because they haven't sprayed you yet. It's because you haven't lost yet, Potter. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Yeah. How nice to see you, my young friend. Oh. Professor Black's direction. It is my honor as deputy headmistress to offer you the position of 
divination professor at Hogwarts School, who was crafting wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. Eagerly await your response. Mrs. Weasley. That's where I'm at right now. So I gotta go back down and get my fucking next marble. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Ah, I found it. Accio. Accio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to include Rebellion. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio! Need what, two more? Hell yeah. We must got them all. Oh shit, we got the rotating stairs. Let's go. Revelio! student is wise to keep an eye on the staircase as they will change position without notice. While certain students may not mind being late for class, they may very well regret being late to dinner. Supposed to tell me, maybe one's supposed to be him. Okay, yeah, that is. So one's that guy, and one's the horse. Oh no, you know what? No, that's I fucked up both of those. I'm stupid. Okay, I remember what those do. I don't know how to do it, but I remember what those do. Revelio. I'm not stupid. I shouldn't say that, but you know what I mean. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I'm not traveling up these damn stairs. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Hogwarts Herbology Award in recognition of exemplary skills in the field of herbology. Hogwarts bestows a special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff Mirabelle Garlic from Mandrakes to Mistletoe and Booba Toopers to Bouncing Balls. Her work in floral has exceeded all expectations.
Revelio. Oh, it's on top of me almost. Maybe, yeah. There, is that it? I don't think so, I can't tell. Have you ever been to the kitchen? I hear it's wrong by ourselves. Muggle school is so dull compared to Hogwarts. There it is. Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. She'll be thoroughly thrilled. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented this. A big ass fucking school. I hope you've had more Rebellion. than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Wonderful idea. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. That probably wasn't the best idea. Be back up in her in two seconds. Zero out of fifteen. For a shitty hand. Defense plus four. Oh, those are great. Those are some fucking Luna Love good fucking shades. Those are awesome. I love it. Defense plus four. 
defense plus four, legendary. means I can get my wand here soon, it'll be exciting. I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeat experience. I was hard, glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. Oh, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a Butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Mm. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. 
I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal... Revelio. ...much can be gained outside of us. Revelio. settling in. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Ugh. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Mm. Poor Mr. Moon. It's Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. The and you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Duke's. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon.
I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. That looks pretty wicked. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Willow, dragon heart string, surprisingly swishy, 13 and a half inches. Wand style, wood type, wand core. Dragon heart string that serves the core of the wand, known for producing powerful magic. Unicorn hair, the hair of unicorn serves the core of the wand, known for producing consistent magic. Phoenix feather, producing a great range of magic. Now, when it says a range of magic, does that mean like magic has range, or it means like a, a wide variety of magic? rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative a dragon heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly how intriguing Curious indeed. Oh, different wood types over there too. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. Right, 
Let's see what these colors are. How intriguing. I'm thinking, what was it, this one? No, this one. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Order. I feel like that's a decent size. Another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand yes, with a dragon knows. heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. What up, three balls? Rebellion. Thank you so much for the subscription, my man. It's good to see you, as always. Hope you're having a good morning so far. Or, er, night. What's wrong with me? I'm tired. That's what's wrong with me. Magic Neep, Tomes and Scrolls, and Pippin's Potions. This game looks cool. Yeah, I, I've been having fun with it. I've only played about three hours. It's all been on stream so far. I just created my wand. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Revelio. Shit, motherfucker. Oh. Stolen. Uh oh, clockwork fedora. Beautiful. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss La Wang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. 
Uh, you'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. Sure, the student she sent the owl about. Oh, I sent your things aside. Motherfucker! I suspected if Dumbass. you were anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Get me what? what can I do for you today? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the, the cards out nip. here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the nip. thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Later, buddy. Oh, I got headwear. Oh, yeah, we're fucking styling now. Oh, that's sick. Door. 
Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Locks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use its pot to grow all sorts of useful magical plants. Small potion station spellcraft unlocks the ability to conjure a small potion station perfectly suited to all your potion brew needs. Ooh. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Matty. particular book is moved. Prior to here, Thomas Brown has a variety of written products, including spellcrafts, handy for conjuring. Lumos Accio Repair all. Fucker Where's the eye poke spell at? Poke him in the eye a good size, right? <laughs> ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one.
Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. She ain't helping. Oh, hello there. I will see what he wants. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. My young friend. Stranger danger. <clears throat> Much better. Oh, there's the last pile. Repair. <laughs> Rebellion. Founded in 1750 <clears throat> and with locations in Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Galdrags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hale and his associates, Audo Dibble, happily help 
all those who wander into shops enjoying in particular the challenge the chain yeah the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most sweet actually we were just talking about you rebellion glad drags mannequin unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students for doling practice the mannequins at Gladrix are only a means to display the latest in wizarding fashion. That'll rock way better than my fedora. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about with the glasses and everything. Oh yeah. That's the makings of a fucking sexy wizard. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were, life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Defense 19, offense 8. Select cloaks and robes, gear slot, and press A. So, offense plus 5. Thanks, bud. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to the shop and your I'm right behind you. Come on. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Revelio. Good one to know. Uh-uh. Oh, 
Oh shit. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. What up, Manny Man? Quickly, let's get Good inside the three you, broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord God. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, uh, how timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the others. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. I can't wait to fuck at you. an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Must return to your common room for the night. Access the map. Select Hogwarts map button to switch to the Hogwarts map. Fast travel to your common room. Where the fuck's the common room?
Got about a half hour left, probably, maybe. Probably stop here once I get to at least a self report. I guess that's honestly probably a decent stopping point. Might go explore a little bit more before we call it. If we got anybody else rocking with us, feel free to throw some emotes in the chat. Some emotes in the chizzy. an owl post. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Another adventure, are we? Rebellion. That was, was freaking wild. and put a kitty. resource indeed your field guide rebellion Thank <laughs> you. 
Lumos. Accio. Repair. Bitch. Revelio. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I, you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Sorona and the patrons of the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Ranrock and Rookwood want the locket, sir. What about the call? the goblins are Gringotts. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. <laughs> no, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. Ranrock and Rock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Professor Hecate. Professor Hecate. Professor Hecate. <clears throat> you can help me hello yes. were you calling me i was yes thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure following a treasure map to be precise slight respite from battling the odd troll i should think asked poppy if she'd be interested as well but couldn't drag her away from her puff scheme i found two maps lying about both leading to locations around hogwarts sure care to have a look at one Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Hey, that's where I'm going. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Oh, 
Alright, ladies and germs, honestly, I'm starting to get a headache. It's even worse than it was normally, so. I'm gonna save my game here and then call it a night. Probably do a, a later stream than normal tomorrow as well. I appreciate you guys. I love you all. I hope you have a great night. I'll find somebody for us to raid here. Um, but I'm gonna hit this transition screen, so I will talk to you guys later.